Hello everybody, welcome to game number two of Team Fantastic in the UK BBL. Um, funnily enough, Mercy Flush's first game was 600 TV down against Necro, but he drew and levelled up a bull. I was 400 TV down against Necro, got two fucking miss next game blockers, saving for an Apo, so I don't really want to spend 10, and not an Apo, a third reroll, so I don't really want to spend 10k. And what would I get? Like an extra babe or something? Like an extra, extra apple? I'll just, I'll just say. Oh, do you know what? I won't settle for the babe. I'll have a strength four guy, for a half. <laughs> Is that good? It means he can foul a little bit at the end of the half. He's, it gives me a little bit more strength. It gives me more strength than him, for a half. Um. Black Hawk for half a game. Yeah, because the, the other one's likely to not be very much use. So, yeah, all right. Let's go. Let's go, Zag Madai. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He will not be using Hail Mary Pass or Sure Hands or Pass. Zag is just a better barrack, yeah. It will be glorious. Well, I don't know if it'll be glorious or not. Right, I'm going to turn my, I'm gonna turn my uh, camera off here. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to use any of his skills except his his strength four skill. That's that's the skill I'll be using. He is useless. The last time, yeah, he is. He is. I'm not happy about having to use him. Hmm. He's choosing a kick. Interesting. The snow snob hill many pass. It's just that you only get him for a half, you know? Like it'd be it'd be good if he was a black orc with some skills. But he's not, is he? He's just getting for a half. So it's effective like if he cost 180 for that. I'd rather I'd rather just have a player than have a fucking secret weapon. Start with the wrong Pokemons in this game, what an idiot. Okay, he's in he's in attack. I'm in attack. Can't go for it in the fucking snow. I guess he's still gonna just receive just to try and get the touchdown. Can fall. Four blockers, the fuck is this? I'm glad I've got four minutes. Yeah, I've got I've got to have a bull just because otherwise he can get my bull, can't he? Which is problematic.
Is this okay? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> right. This will have to be good. Oh, great. What a great start. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I love Blood Bowl. Oh, isn't that, isn't that great? Oh, isn't that really great? What a great start. Just like OFL. Lol. Okay, it's really hard to play a Pokemon battle and try to play play this at the same time. Holy shit. I just missed an attack completely. Right, I guess I can't... Um, I guess I just can't do... Is fucking guy go? Oh god, what the fuck is this? I've really fucked up here. Um, and I'm running out of time on this as well, I guess. And I'm meant to be streaming. I'm just fucking everything up. Oh, I've fucking lost this game. I never, never try to play Pokemon while playing Blood Bowl. That's the lesson I've learned. I can do it so I just run back and I, add, I don't even know what I'm going to do this game. Pissed off. Pissed off that I've lost this game of Pokemon at the same time. I fucking did the worst. The worst possible fucking move. Because I ran out of time to do a move and it was the first the move on the list. At least I know to have the move the first move on the list, the one to do for run out of time. So that's something. Yeah, I've got tri see because I had Porygon right. I actually had got a Porygon too right, and I had I had Tri Attack. Was it um, as it's like default um, default thing? But then um, I changed it to Trick Room so I could counter other Trick Room teams, and then. Because I ran out of time, I did Trick Room against somebody with a fucking Araquanid, which is fucking about the worst thing you could possibly do. Not only did I not Lightning Bolt it, I fucking made it better. Jesus Christ. And I've lost this game before it started, thanks to, thanks to Dice. So that, that's good, isn't it?
Because I like it. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quit this part. It's fucking easy. Pissed off that I forfeit though. I was gonna play my games because it's fucking there's a limit of forty five games over three days. And I couldn't play the first two days because I had to train my Pokemons up. And then what the fuck is this? It won't even let me quit, Jesus fucking Christ. So then I've had to play all my games on the last day, which obviously isn't great. I right, eat can jam in there. Right, I'll focus on the game now. Pissed off that I fucking lost. I guess I would have lost anyway. Because he banged. He banged on me, to be fair. Fucking... Oh, God, it's so annoying. It's so annoying that just DICE have just fucking fucked me once again. Just stupid. I just hate it. I fucking hate. I hate it when the DICE are stupid. Can't even try to protect the ball or anything here. I'm just cling clicking at random. He's got this ball ready to come through. Oh wow, I knocked a guy over. Whoopity fuck. Right. I can't, I lost it already. I lost it. I lost the fucking game link battle. So now I'm gonna have to fucking <sighs> play this game as fast as possible. And then I've got another game at eight. Um, Call it a great spot, Sam Davies down two blockers. But whatever floats your boat. Not even up strength because I lost my plus strength guy. I like I lost a ball. So I'm not even so I'm massively down strength. Oh god. And I lost a fucking game for no reason on Pokemon. Holy shit. I mean, I guess I wasn't going to win the thing, but never mind. Right, twenty. So I got to play twenty more games tonight. I'm assuming my game in the OCC ends at about ten. I'll have two hours, <laughs> I think, to play all my games. I don't know if it's GMT midnight or UTC midnight. I could concentrate on this game, but what what can I say? It's a blizzard, so I can't go for it. He's got two balls, I've got one ball. He's got six blockers, I've got four. Um, <laughs> I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but... You know. I can't see it going great, to be honest. See you, Alice. Hello, everybody, anyway, uh, by the way. Sorry, VIP, Bleeding Hippie. The ball center wasn't a death, it was just a badly hurt. So I guess I could have just not uphold it and then, um, you know, look to the future. Seeing as I've already lost the first game this season, maybe I should have just um, not uphold it. Wait a minute, did I. Did I choose death? 
It was badly hurt. Why is it? Oh, is it because it's a rock? I'm I'm sure I uploaded it. I'm sure it was a I'm sure it was a badly hurt, and I uploaded. I'm sure I chose badly hurt. Ha! Uh -huh. Got his armor seven guy. My god, so it's just a it's just a graphical bug. Good old cyanide. Just cyanide things here. Now I now like I just don't see how I can possibly score here. Dice is a high. One dice there, then one dice there. Great success, only one guy in contact. Oh god, right, I've got to focus about the game now. I mean, at least I'll play better. At least I lost the first game of Pokemon, so I can stop fucking thinking about it now. It's just going to be an intense, an intense time after it, playing, playing Pokemon till midnight. I guess there's no prize or anything, I guess I'm not going to win, I've already lost. I won it 17, lost 8, so... <laughs> I guess even if I won the last 20, I wouldn't have the best record. I don't think it's done, but uh, it might be a little bit Swiss. But it obviously depends who's um, who's looking for a game at the same time. UTC till midnight. All right. So I'll have a. I'll, I should have enough time to finish actually. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter whether I win or lose this season, so I was an idiot for using the apple when I badly hurt. I was an absolute idiot. Because I'm fucked this season. I, I, oh, I was just such a fucking idiot. Yeah, Zag Mardai. Um, he's crap, but he's strength four for a, for a half. I was ninety k down. I thought he's better than a babe, isn't he? I'll probably do nothing. Right, minus two DM, minus two DM, and then minus two D surf him. No, one D surfing. That would probably be the best play anyone's ever made. I think. Could minus two D him and then even we'll push him to there. I think I should. I think I should go for this. Right. You know things are bad when you when you're seriously considering a minus two D into a minus two D into a one D. But there you go. 
I don't know. This is much more sensible. I like how he's pointing his gun at people. <laughs> right, a, a, a one dicer is quite reasonable, isn't it? I could make this a one dice with both of them, and uh, so I could write minus two D it, fuck it. Of course I'm not re-rolling it. Get fucking banged up. Motherfuck. Alright. I should have moved that guy there first, and maybe. Oh. Alright, one die needing a push. <laughs> oh god! Get banged on! And get banged on! Get fucking banged on! <laughs> Get the <to> fuck! <laughs> what a fucking play! What a fucking play that was! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Never lucky yet, yeah. okay. Sometimes lucky. <laughs> Should just come see. It's a shame he didn't fucking die, but at least we're both down a ball now, and he's actually down men on pitch. It was it was glorious make makey. It was a minus two dice block into a one dice block into a one dice surf. Needed needed pushes on on all of them. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would have taken if I if I'd got the um, if I'd got the push power. I wonder if he'd have taken the power on the first one. I think he'd have probably taken the push on the first one, not not seeing the craziness that I was going for. But, um. I wonder if you'd have seen it. It would have been interesting, wouldn't it? If I'd, if I'd rolled the, um. If I'd rolled a push power, I wonder if you'd have taken the push of the power. We'll never know. But that was, so that was some prime banging on, wasn't it? I think he would have done Pedro Jack. I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have known my my crazy plan. <laughs> this is a bit shit, wasn't it? Getting pushed into another two D with block. But what could I do? These guys have to stand up. And he uses his strength for to blitz. Yeah. And 
this gadget can come around and make this one a 2D. There's been a lot of horrible fucking one dice as this game so far, but needs must. Ooh, there's no t there's no screen here anymore. Shizer. I really hate Blizzard when you've got bulls. <laughs> it's a bit crap, isn't it? The game's take about 8 minutes, so I guess I'm not going to have enough time to play all the time. Shit. Won the first 6 in a row in that Pokemon tournament, I was pretty excited. There is the OCC game is after this Thomas Griff. <laughs> yeah, in leagues. I like him in leagues. I think Necro are better though. Oh look this dirty didn't go one day somewhere. Yeah it was. Get to push get to push down the sideline a little bit. Obviously, obviously going to take this 2D on this dirty dingo, put him down, knock him out. Fucked up here. I'm gonna have to make a GFI. Shit. That should have been the blitz from that angle. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have to make a GFI. Ugh, the worst. Well, maybe not. Need the power ball. Right, good. God, don't need that. <laughs> okay, now this is rough. Right. Need to tag tag the bull there. This is a simple two D on him and then Minus 2D on the ball, but what can I do? Not a fucking lot. The OCC um, did alright in the first game. VIP being heavy, they got leveled up the Mighty Blow Wolf. 1 2 0, I think. Leveled up the Mighty Blow Wolf um, with block. And uh, so. 
And I think most teams in my division are of a similar TV, whereas already I'm miles behind in UK BPO. Shame to have to sacrifice the hobo, but that's what he's there for, isn't it? Dirty Dingo, let's do more. The sad thing is that even if I do base his bull, it's, he's still 75% just as fucking smooth dodge away, isn't he? Blizzards are really annoying for chorfs, aren't they? Just the fact that you'll sometimes have to GFI with your crappy little um with your with your crappy little oh god don't even think about it you'll have to gfi sometimes with your crappy little uh blockers and obviously you kind of want to G kind of want to gfi if you're the one can't believe you made a gfi i'm pretty sure i won't be able to make the gfi that i want to make Right, I've just got to, now I've got, I'm got to blitz this way, having to make two GFIs. I'm pretty sure. I've just one dice him. Blitz there, one, two, power him. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's I'd have to GFI just to be a canoring threat. Well, that ain't gonna fucking happen. I'd have to GFI to assist there. That ain't gonna happen. So go for the one D. Now he's just blitzes him, doesn't he? And hope, hopes for the pow. Now it's going to be two GFIs to score. No pow. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six GFI. I guess, as soon as I've got the reroll, I make the second GFI right now. Well, attempt the second GFI right now. He comes round in case I need an assist to blitz myself free. as well standing up because I doubt it's going to 1D into a 1D right a tiny chance oh VIP scroll dude um That, is it? Wow, dirty dingo making the GFIs. Oh my god. Which one? 
I couldn't. I I couldn't out. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. There's, I, I couldn't dodge. I couldn't dodge with him. I guess I could have done, yeah. But then he, but then he could only go six. Yeah, I guess I could have dodged to there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that wouldn't have been bad. But he could have still. Oh no. Yeah, he could have still just. He just fucking all oh, every dice. Anyway. All right, good. Not every dice. Thanks God. Yeah, I guess I could have made that dodge. Yeah, but then he would have been free. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that would have been. But look, I, I cleverly got that guy out there. But yeah, it would have been. It would have been something. Wouldn't it have been better than nothing? I didn't want to have to use my reroll on it. But yeah, I guess I should have done. Oh, I can't foul. Fuck. Missed the chance to foul. I'll make two DBs. One in twelve nine sixes are worth it, aren't they? Are they though? I don't even know if they are worth it. Yeah, they are because it doesn't even. Uh, but then I want to get want to get star player points on him. Yeah, I should have. Um, I should have probably made that dodge. Yeah, you're right. I couldn't have used a reroll on it. But then I, that's the thing, though. You see, I don't like dodging with help goblins if I'm not going to reroll it because. If I roll a 1 or a 2, he just dies. But yeah, it would have made it slightly hard. It wouldn't have actually made it harder for him, because you know, I would have dodged with a dwarf instead of GFIing twice with a dwarf. I don't know which is better odds, actually. 2, 3 pluses or 1, 4 plus. He might, he might have done it wrong anyway. It might have been better just to dodge with a dwarf and do what he did. What he did. Well done, Strength 4, mans. You did something. I shouldn't have appoed that though, that was a bad apple. The most important thing in this league is just to keep my bulls alive, keep my warriors alive and get some star player points. So I guess to that end, I shouldn't try to win the game here by putting dwarfs on the line so I don't go down players. I should just put journeymen on the line so my good players don't die. As lame as that is, the only thing that matters in this first season of fucking 11 games is getting star player points. God, I fucking hate these kind of leagues. I really hate these kind of leagues. I think I might just quit, you know. I really do think I'm going to quit OCC and UK BBL. I really do. It's just not my cup of tea. Wait, that counted as a win. That, that game that I tried to concede counted as a win. What the fuck? That'd be dangerous. I guess at least it puts him off going for the one turn. I'm giving him... Do you see people to eat? Hey. It'll be the fash, the fashtastic league will be my cup of tea. Oh, if hell was my cup of tea. Because even though, uh, you know, they had a mechanism whereby if you joined late, you weren't just completely fucked. And, you know, like, I just hate it. I just hate that I've re-rolled them in the 1700 chaos. You know, like, the fuck's the point? You can't win. Yeah, okay, I can win the league, but if I do, what happens? Nothing. Nothing until 40 fucking weeks later when I'm in the top division. 
And then it matters if I win games. I just hate it. I, th I just hate these kind of leagues. I found out that I hated them in in Fumble, you know, when when I I joined uh, the White Isle League, and uh, what's he called? Um, Purple Goo was in there with Rookie Kemry, and I was in there with Rookie Chaos, and there were some other teams with like you know some other people with some developed teams, and uh, and then. He was like, you just gotta, you just gotta get play for star player points. And I'm like, the fuck is that shit? It's not blood bowl, is it? It's just being lame as fuck. <laughs> this gets fucking ki stunned again. <sighs> yeah, good, good. He injures him because because he's armor seven. If he'd been armor nine, it wouldn't have even broken. So I'm going to lose the game on purpose so I get a few more star player points for next season. The fuck is this shit? Honestly, that what fuck kind of game is that? I absolutely hate it. No more leagues for me. Fashtastic will be res, yeah. So that it doesn't matter. So people will be able to join. And they won't just get fucked on by 1450 Necro, 1700 Chaos, 1650 Necro, and they'll be able to win the league the very first season they're in it, rather than being buried in the fucking fifth division, where all they've got to do is play for star player points and not care whether they win or lose. Like, I just, I just can't, I can't believe how much I hate, I hate both leagues now. As well as having to dick around, oh, man, I'm really tempted to just quit them midway. Even though, <laughs> even though it's something that I never do, I've never, I've quit one league before it was finished, and that was the OCC. <laughs> the first time I joined it, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm actually thinking about um, <laughs> about quitting it again, because I'm just genuinely just thinking about quitting it. Just straight up quitting. Not even playing out the rest of the two seasons. The rest of the se like the rest of the two seasons because UK BBL too. See, I like the first UK BBL because even though there was 144 people in it, everybody had a chance of winning the league, didn't they? And there was something to play for. And now, now that I've re-rolled. I'm fucking 30 games, probably minimum, maybe it's 40 games, minimum, away from doing anything.
It's not about it's not about things not going my way. It's just I'm not interested in in this style of league. Even though I know it's the only way that it works online. It's the only way online leagues work. It, Except you, o OFL, which was cra it was crazy that OFL worked, to be honest. Look at this elf screen knit with the best of them, eh? Do you want to watch Kanoi and come here and see an elf screen? Unbelievable, Jeff. With the OFL, they, it was like this. It was like the NFL. So there were thirty-two teams in it, and uh, anybody. Well, there were forty teams in it actually. So, uh, the, uh, so it wasn't actually like the NFL. It was like the actual original league, the original Blood Bowl league in the Second Ed Handbook. So there was there was forty teams in it, and they could all win because it was like you know like kind of like the super like the NFL format so there were 40 teams anyone can win you've got little divisions of like 4 or 5 teams that you can win and then and then like you know they have the Super Bowl at the like you know the NFC and the AFC champion and then you have and then you have the thing yeah but all these tiered ones I fucking hate them see that Expos and Hobgoblins because I don't care if they lose SPP just means that I lose the game because I'm down two players. Well, okay, I'm only down one player because he's lost one. But, um, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, yeah, it was a bit strange, wasn't it, Squirrel Dude? So, yeah, because 40 people could could win it, and then they also had, like, a, a thing. Is there anything I can do here? I can make some kind of crazy change. Strand his bull up there. Seems good. Oh my god, AV break too. So I've crashed in hard this side, which obviously means he's going to come this way, and I haven't got a whole lot out there. I guess I'll stand this guy up. That is simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. It's done. So he's got to make a break around this side now. But um, I guess I could just go back a little bit. One more, so you'd have to GFI to face me. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, with, with the RFL, you had 40 teams and each one had a chance to win the league. So I like that. First of all, I like that. I like that, you know... You can you don't have to spend a million leagues climbing through the things. Like Legion only had about forty people, didn't it? But they had ten in the premiership and then like ten in the first division and then twenty in the third division or whatever. So they had like they had some kind of thing which I don't like. But I kinda like that anyone could win the title, but it was silly that they had a they had a tiered league that and then it's just the cut the development, you know? OFL with their free agents that they had, it meant that 
even though I came in late. I, they gave me more money to start with, and then I could just buy three. But th I was able to buy three free agents, and um, and I was able to I was able to compete by virtue of buying those three free agents. Which was good. Well, I mean, they're not really like the Premier League, are they? Because they're like little. They're more like the Scottish League because they're little fucking ten man things where they just play each other once. It's nothing. It's not even anything like anything real. Oh man, if he fails his GFI, he's done. Well, I mean, he's not really done because there's no recovery, but... Oof. Dirty fucking dingo. Right, one, two... Okay, let's, let's just do the blocks first and then see what happens. This is a 1D and it's a POW to here. Here comes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. It's almost like the dodge is just better. This is great if it's a push. Well, okay, not great if it's a push, actually. <laughs> great if it's a POW, I meant to say, then he could have marked both. So he just needs to come back 10. 10. 6. He could come back there, I guess, and he could make another block. Or I could just one die him. What if I get the pal? Two GFIs. The thing is, the chance of failing the 1D is so fucking high. Two GFIs could mark him after I pow him. Alright, fuck it. I'll commit a reroll to Dodgy, you don't even need to. Do one D there. And again if it's a pow he can come in. I guess just one day here, actually. Darling. Okay, I've got I've got to make the GFIs to mark this. This fella having a. Hi. And I think it's worth making the GFI here, just because he's already miles away. And if I failed, it wouldn't be the worst. And now I'll get a two dice. This lad. That worked out pretty. That was a pretty good turn, all told, wasn't it? I was. I had some good luck there. That was a pretty crazy turn. I mean, they should only fail one in nine, shouldn't they, Carl Ancelotti? So it's like they're not super risky. Obviously, if they fail one in nine times, you could easily make. Nine in a game and not fail any. But similarly, you could easily make three and fail all of them. <laughs> so. I mean, I don't know, I like, I do like the idea of a 20, like a proper Premier League season where you've got 20 people all in the same division and play everyone twice. I would like to see that league. 
Yeah, like a proper... Prop wow, two GFIs. The fuck is this? Make some balls! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I know I made a 4 plus to, to hit the ball, but that was a 4 plus to hit the ball, wasn't it? I mean, that wasn't just a run. Oh, I don't know why he did that, but it worked out. Man. It's like I don't even see what freeing up this guy does. Aha, but if it was Rez Carlo Ancelotti, you wouldn't get fucked early. going for the one day here isn't he but I think only a pal is really bad so still be able to free up somebody with two days if it's unless it's a pal one day good or oh, one days are skulls get back on that's what you get <laughs> that was great wasn't it fash fash for that right I could um I could block him to free up this guy. He's he's got to block him. Ah, oh, little bit unlucky to KO him because the plan was um all right that's okay. Oh no, it doesn't work. The plan is to scatter the ball, but that doesn't really work cuz I'm just going to blitz this guy anyway. Right, he can block him. I'm getting all the luck now, aren't I, actually, after the first half. But well, mm, I don't know. I've got three guys to five here, so... I, I, you could say I've out-positioned him a bit. Um, I am I am down a player still, so... Ah, shit, no push. Well, he comes round here to base the bow. Right. And now I've got 3 minutes 23 to consider whether I should re-roll this pickup or not, if I fail it. Now isn't this shit... What a bad mechanic for a game this is. That once I make this pick up, I have 15 seconds to think about it, you know? Now I've got to use my brain for two or three minutes or whatever, or a minute, thinking about whether to re-roll it, and then half of the time I'm not even going to have had to make the decision. How fucking stupid is that? Terrible. I guess that's where I go afterwards. Uh, maybe here. Fucking hell, that's so annoying. Bill Paxson died. Oh, that does suck. I hate Bill Pullman, but I like Bill Paxson. Bill Paxson's the only person who's been killed by the Terminator, a Predator, and an alien. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> How stupid is this thinking about whether I want to re-roll it or not? I fucking whoa, it's the worst it's the worst programming ever. Hello the rib cracker. How fucking bad is this? How bad is this? I've just got to think. Oh, Goliath. Hello, VIP Oriolensis. Um, is, how bad is this fucking bullshit? Do I re-roll it if I fail it? I think I re-roll it, because there's, there's four turns left. So I'll have used one in four turns. I would have re-rolled that dodge. 
You can blitz and mark me. If I go there, he can double mark me by 1Ding here somehow. So I guess I've got to, I guess I've got to go here. There you go to 3. At least I didn't waste my time. Alright. No, oh, well, it's in two TZs at least. <sighs> right, that's so fucking dumb, isn't it? That I might have just, I might have just rolled the pickup the first time, and then have wasted two minutes of all of our lives thinking about whether, whether I should re-roll it or not. When if they just made it, if they just programmed it properly. So that your turn time was your turn time. <laughs> what a crazy, what a crazy fucking thought that is. If they just made it so your turn time is your turn time, would have been no problem. I could have just failed and then re-rolled it. Yeah, using the blitz to get that guy there. I guess that makes sense since I failed the pickup. But it's fucking stupid as fuck though, isn't it, Sneaker? It's stupid as fuck. Your time limit should be your time limit, not arbitrary chunks to make the, the, the most crucial decisions in the game. It's outrageously dumb. Only Sinai could think of something that fucking dumb. It's ridiculous. Like, but I guess if you never play Blood Bowl, you're like, yeah, this is a good idea. They can think for 15 seconds whether 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 to the, the play, you know, they'll have a three minute turn limit. I don't know why there's a three minute turn limit, but we'll make them have a three minute turn limit for some fucking reason. And then we'll give them 15 seconds to decide the most crucial thing, the, the absolute game deciding moment. They've got 15 seconds. It's so bad. <sighs> I'm really, I'm really fucking pissed off right now. I can't believe how bad it is. Holy shit. No, I'm not overdoing it, not a, even a little bit. I'm actually really... I can't believe... I'm just thinking about it more and more. I just can't believe how bad it is. It's so bad. Oh, God, yeah, Blood Bowl 1. Fucking hell, 45 seconds a turn. But, I mean, at least that's something they can, you know, they can just not understand. At least that's something they can just not understand, that you need more than fucking 45 seconds to play your turn. If they don't play themselves, they'd be like, well, just click at random, see what happens. And that's not as bad as, um... Is this just fucking 15 seconds malarkey? Right, I need to base him there. Block him. Onto him, onto there. Might as well. Ooh, but then what if it's a... And if it's a push, just put him there. Yeah, that seems realistic. Oh, no, put him on there. Put him on the ball. Get a scatter. Give us a scatter. That'll do. Now do I get it? This one. Oh, brilliant, a double skull. Aren't I glad I uh, re-rolled that last turn? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, you sexy, sexy, angry beast of gorgeousness, foul war. Bend over and began for breakfast, you honey beast. I hope this helps winking face. XXX. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Goliath Games. Holy shit. Thank you very, 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 very much, you lovely fella. Right. Do I go for the Hobgob pickup? I guess I do, because I can make it somewhat safe. <laughs> right, <laughs> right where all of his players are. 
Oh, fuck. I guess I might still stop him scoring. Maybe I shouldn't reroll that pickup that I spent two minutes thinking about. <laughs> Begging for breakfast. <laughs> Beg for breakfast. Oh dear. Ah, see? This next game. Alright, so at least we didn't die. And two TZs. <laughs> Attack with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Thank you very much, Goliath Games, anyway. Thank you. See, I'm not that pissed off about the game, despite despite the fact that my bull was fucking badly hurt on turn zero. Um, I just don't like... I just don't like this format of League. I really, I really, really don't. I've, and I, to be fair, I'm, I'm, this isn't, I'm not springing this on anybody. I've always said that right from the start. I really don't like this kind of League. Even though it's the basically the only kind of league that works in Blood Bowl, um, well in online Blood Bowl, it is what it is. Oh man, can't believe I had three shots to pick up the ball. And if I think if I'd made any one of them, it'd have been pretty good. <laughs> you beast. <laughs> One TZ, so I don't think he's getting a pick up this turn. And I guess seeing as now the turns being what they are, I've just got to stop him winning, haven't I, rather than try to win myself. Maybe that's what I should have thought. Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled that pick up, because I should The thing is, though, I think I've made it pretty safe. If he picks this up and dodges away after all my failed attempts at it. Good. In a fucking tackle zone as well. Oh, he's re-rolling it. Madman. And he's locked in the dodge. Crazy when you've locked in the dodge, wasn't it? That was pretty crazy, I think. After after locking in the dodge, to then just go for it. Ah, oh. the ball says it's there, but it's there. God, I can't. He can block him to free him. One, two, three. I think what I've got to do, seeing as I've got no rerolls, is make the block. The safe moves first. Follow Kana. Yeah, I can follow. I have to follow actually, so that this push isn't isn't a disaster. Right, hobgob. Do I just foul his hobgoblin because he's only got two turns left, or do I go for the four plus pickup? At least I've got three minutes to think about it. Now foul is hobo. <coughs> Fouling isn't so bad. Because it's his only three plus pickup, isn't it? If I pick pick up and fail, it could go there. Could go there. Could go there. These are all decent places for it to go. It could go there wouldn't be very good. Could foul him, could just not foul him, could just put him the other side. And just leave him there. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, basing from two sides is better than getting sent off. I'm inclined to agree, though he can probably engineer some kind of a chain push to um, make life easier for himself. I guess it's not too easy for him, though. Yeah, I think just put him there. Play it safe. It's really weird that the blue thing isn't where the ball is. <laughs> Killing him is better than basing him, that's very true. I mean, that's what I was thinking, you know. People can always... I guess he's down to zero re-rolls as well. People can always make rolls, can't they, you know. And no matter what you leave them, you could have made some play, probably, to have made it harder for them. Um, like, obviously, sometimes... Sometimes you play perfect and leave them with the absolute hardest thing you, you could have left them with. But often people, like Omadon versus My Chaos... Um, Often people do something slightly wrong where it's a little bit harder, a little bit easier than it could have been. Um. Oh, thank you, pal. I mean, three TZs and the ball's pretty good. Starting off with a one dice is not a bad place to leave somebody without rerolls, is it? Although he made it and free and got a pow after I just rolled pushes with my blocks last turn. Um, <laughs> it's still... I really wanted to pow his bull last turn. It's just his two hobgobs, isn't it? Mainly what I've got to worry about. Dingo. Rolled a three, so I'd have failed the pickup at least. Well, I guess it was the next block dice, whatever it was. a fucking thing. Walker. Finally a push. That's good. So what happens? I guess he has to stand up right now. And he just has to stand up right now. Is 
this is a block. I'd like this to be a blitz and then assist there for a block, then go for the pickup with the last guy. The only thing is, if it's a block, then he could blitz and then assist. If it's a push. If it's a push, then I guess he just doesn't move afterwards. So it's okay if it's a push. Oh, she meant to follow! Cunt! <gasps> ah! At least that stuff makes it harder. 1D, how bad is a 1D? Fuck, meant to follow, that's so bad. You can't get, oh, you can get an assist, you can just 2D me and then 2D me and then. I don't know if it's a push here, if it's a 3, if it's a 2 plus it's really good, isn't it? Well, is it really good if it's a both down? No, both down isn't so good. Oh, what a fucking idiot. <sighs> the thing is, though, Glaive Master, it's just a three plus roll. So, exactly do the one deal, get Blitz with 2D next turn, exactly fish for fat. That's the thing. But then, how does he clear this tackle zone? That's the thing. How does he clear this one? He has to receive it. So he has to go get the ball. So if I was to, um, if I go both down here, blocks him, blocks him, blitzes him, and then this guy just goes three, four, five, six passes to him. So I think the both down's bad. Fucking what a dickhead not fucking following up. Unbelievable. Really, really bad not following up there. Holy shit. Pissed off, man. <laughs> Good old Kanoff hosting some random dude. Dirty dingo. Oh, I can't believe I didn't follow that. Holy shit, what a dickhead. Double score. Alright, good. Alright. Alrighty then. G. G. Try to get star player points for... My warriors. <laughs> Double skull into death, no? No, unbelievable. Didn't die. Won a game. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, it was it was a tough matchup down two blockers. The worst possible matchup. Might as well roll a three. Re-roll a three, I guess. Shame only 120. Don't have the um. Oh, Zarg Madai steals the MVP. Cheers, buddy. All right. That was that was great, wasn't it? Eh? What a great what a great fucking star player he was. Um Yeah. Great. I mean See this is the thing, winning doesn't even matter. I've lost five star player. It's fucking hate I hate this.
I really hate these leagues. Why the fuck did I sign up to two of them? <laughs> I just fucking hate them. Um, Alright, no skills after two games. Nearly up to the third reroll. Um, Alright, good. 1-1. One, one. Next week. What is it? Mutandis Mutandorum. What's that? 14.30 Chaos next week. Block tail, block claw tackle. Alright, so at least he's taken loads of crap skills. So that might not even be that bad. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um... It's it's nothing against UKBBL or OCC. It's just you know I know that's the way to make leagues work in um, because you only gain levels for matchmaking games. Bizzle it doesn't. So a lot of the people in um, a lot of the people that are in these leagues don't play in the um, don't play in the things. Don't play in matchmaking, they just play in the league. So, like, you've got the likes of Joe Manji when he started playing with level one or whatever, but, like, you know, there you go. Like, probably Spartaco was like a level one coach in the World Cup, which is pretty funny. But, um, right, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.